Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about a compound interest problem. So here I go. <laughs> Find the APY annual percentage yield for an APR annual percentage rate of 6% compounded under four different conditions. So we got to find the annual percentage yield for the first part. Annual percentage rate is 6%, that is compounded yearly. So solution. Part A. Six percent APR annual percentage rate that is compounded annually. Hence the annual percentage yield is also 6%. Hence the APY, annual percentage yield, because it's compounded yearly, annual percentage yield is 6%. So this is the answer for part A. Please do not quit right away because I'll give you some important tip or hint at the end of this program. So the answer for this part A is 6%. Okay, and then let's focus on part B. So you understood what I did. It's 6% APR annual percentage rate, which is compounded yearly. Hence, the annual percentage yield is also same, 6%. Part B. Part B says it is uh, compounded semi annually. Semi annually means every six months. Okay. So the annual percentage yield, the formula for annual percentage yield APY, which is annual percentage yield. Percentage, percentage yield is equal to one plus R divided by capital T raised to the power of T minus one. T is the number of times it is compounded per year. Number of times the investment is compounded per year. Is compounded per year. So in this case, capital T is equal to 2. And what is R? R is the annual is R and R is equal to annual, in, annual interest rate. Annual interest rate in decimal. Interest rate in decimal. So here, let me make this clear. This is here. Okay. Because compounded 
compounded semi-annually. So twice a year, semi-annually, twice a year. Year R and also year R is equal to 0 0.06, okay? Uh, just I want to make clear this is minus one, that's okay, but this minus is over here, okay? So if I move this a little bit up, create some space. Oops, sorry. So, APY then becomes annual percentage yield for part B. Percentage yield is equal to one plus rate is in decimal point zero six. Compounding is done twice a year. Raised to the power, how many times it is compounded per year is two minus one. Okay. So APY then becomes equal to 1 plus 0 0.03 square minus 1 equal to 1.03 square minus 1 or APY is equal to 1.0609 minus 1 which is 0 0.0609 or 6.09 percent. So this is the answer for part B when we are compounding twice a year. Notice by compounding twice a year, I've increased the annual percentage yield by a small amount, 0 0.09, from part A when I compounded just once a year, okay? So moving on, you understand the situation, okay? So if you compound more than once a year, your annual percentage yield goes up, okay? Please do not quit right away because I will give you some important tip at the end of this program, promise, okay? So please hang around and let me complete the problem all for you. Okay. So before. Uh, let me see what is part C. Part C is monthly. Part C is APY. Again, we will use the same formula. C is. Part C. So let me create some more space, right? To use this formula, so bring it down. Okay. Part C. Okay. APY again is equal to one plus R divided by T raised to the power of T minus one. Okay, so par D compounded monthly, T is equal to 12, that is 12 compounding periods per year, compounded monthly, monthly. Again, uh, hunch is that as we increase the number of compounding periods per year, our annual percentage yield will go up. Let's let's take a look. So APY in this case becomes 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 raised to the power of 12 minus 1. Okay which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.005 exponent 12 minus 1, okay? Which is 
1.06 minus 1 equal to 0 0.0617 or 6.17 percent. So our hunch was right. As we increase the number of compounding per year, periods of compounding per year from uh, previously we were compounding twice a year, semi-annually in part B. Now we are compounding monthly. So our compounding periods per year, T, is 12. Okay. And what did that do? That increased our annual percentage yield to 6.17%. So you get the message. As you increase the number of compounding period per year, your annual percentage yield will go up. Uh, the last part is uh, when we are going to compound continuously. Okay, continuously. Okay, so let me create some space. Different team color maybe. Okay, part D is compounding continuously, compounding continuously. And the formula for compounding continu continuously APY is equal to e to the power of r minus 1, where r is 0 0.06 and e is the natural number. Okay, so what is the natural number you ask? Okay, so I'll do it in my calculator. Second EX, okay. Uh, let's see, no, clear. So second EX. E is the natural number, which is 2.718. But most calculator has the function of E, so only thing you have to exponent it. So in this case, APY becomes e to the power of rate is 0 0.06 minus 1. Okay, so point e to the power of 0 0.06 is 1.0618. And from that you subtract 1 to get an APY, APY annual percentage yield of 0 0.06. 618. Let me write this clearly. Minus 1. Okay. So, or 6.18%. So, as you can see from comparing answers from part A, B, C, and D, okay, the best compounding situation which will give the highest annual percentage yield is when the investment is compounded continuously, okay? And in that case, the annual percentage yield is 6.18%. However, if we compound monthly, as in part C, the annual percentage yield is also high, 6.17%. And when we compound semi-annually, it is... It is <laughs> The yield is 6.09%. So let me give you a short quiz. Okay. So let me move this up a little bit. So my quiz is what is the APY 
annual percentage yield when the investment is com or investment is compounded quarterly at six percent at six percent hint here the number of compounding periods per year because you are compounding quarterly per year that is t is equal to quarterly means every three months you invest you are compounding every three months means there will be four intervals of three months each so t is equal to four this is the critical thing information that you will need to solve this problem what is the APY when the investment is compounded quarterly at 6%? Okay, so before I stop, I want to give you the uh, tip that annual percentage yield is obtained by the formula that I provided at the top, which is annual percentage yield is 1 plus R over T, where R is the interest rate in decimal. Don't forget that it's in decimal divided by t is the compounding period per year, raised to the power of t or exponented to t, but t is the number of compounding periods per year, minus one, okay? That is the formula to be used. So I solved it uh, for yearly, semi-annually, and monthly, and then compounding continuously, and we saw that compounding continuously give us the best APY. But you can extend this, and see what will be the APY if the investment is compounded quarterly at 6%. That is my quiz problem. And I will come back tomorrow to solve this problem for you and show you the answer. Thanks for watching. And if you have any question, any comment, please write me a note. I love to see your note, comments. So please write me a note. Okay. I'll reply to each and every comment. I promise that. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Every time you give me a thumbs up, it motivates me to produce more videos just for you. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Talk. Please subscribe to my channel, Nandi Academy, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And I'll be back tomorrow with another interesting problem. Also, I will solve this quiz problem just for you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.